miracle for your God got you here because there's something in you trying to die and there's something in you God's trying to keep alive and every time you go on life support God smacked you back look at somebody and say he shot me back oh. y'all don't want me to preach to me in order to be ready I gotta go through preparation Y'all don't want me to preach. The word come back, it means to return again. So I had to be somewhere in order, watch this, to return again. I'm talking to somebody, you're not where you used to be. You're not as anointed as you used to be. You're not being used like you used to be used. Oh, y'all don't want, you don't pray like you used to pray. You don't read your Bible like you used to read your Bible. You don't fast like you used to fast. But God said you get ready to make a comeback. Slap somebody a high five and say it ain't over yet. God said I'm getting ready to make a comeback. That's why I'm going through what I'm going through. Because God knows that I'm out of place. Look at somebody say I'm out of place. the most dangerous things in the world is to allow people is to allow people to displace you because of what they said because of what they done because of who walked out of your church your church can grow now that somebody gone sometimes the main people that are staying there are keeping people from coming because they live two lifestyles The first thing I want to talk about tonight is when God is preparing you for a comeback. The first thing that takes place is you got to go through recovery. And recovery means you got to regain what you lost. We find David in a cave experience. wants to get away from everybody because of what he experiencing. He tries to hide himself. He isolates himself because he's trying to get back what he has lost. He has lost his relationship and he feels if I stay away for a while, maybe he'll cool off. Maybe he'll, he'll accept me back. You better hear what I'm saying. But more than anything, he's trying to get himself together. Look at your neighbor and say, if I ain't calling you, baby, I'm just trying to get myself together. Trying to get myself together. If I ain't over by your house every day, don't think I'm acting funny. I'm just trying to get myself together. Because we ain't doing girly girly stuff. It don't mean that I'm acting funny. It don't mean that I'm tripping. It don't mean that I'm changing. It means that God is doing something. I'm trying to, re I'm trying to recover what I lost. Oh, y'all ain't gonna tell the truth in here tonight. You know some of y'all done lost it. I got to tell on new creation. Some of y'all done lost your stuff, lost your respect, lost your integrity, lost your character. You ain't the same person you used to be, but now you in recovery. Look at somebody slap on my high five and tell them, I'm gonna get it back, I'm gonna get it back. I'm gonna get it back, I'm gonna get it back, I'm gonna get it back. I'm gonna get it back, I'm gonna get it back. Ain't no use for you talking about me. Ain't no use for you lying on me. Ain't no use for you mocking me. I'm gonna get it back, I'm gonna get it back. Look at somebody tell them I'm gonna bounce back, I'm gonna bounce back, I'm gonna bounce back. I'm gonna preach it in. When you are in recovery, this identifies when you are in recovery. You spend a lot of time fasting and praying. Trying to hear from God. Trying to get instructions for life or for ministry. Because you don't know what's next. You don't know where I go from here. What I do from here. Lord, how do I get back to the place that I fell from? Will I get back? When you're in recovery, your ear is on the heart of God. You're trying to hear God's heart. Can I preach like I feel? Some of us, and I'm going to say it again, and if you get upset, just ease 
to look fine on up, you know. Some of us are not hearing from heaven. We hear it from man. But man is giving you shit. But God is saying something to the church. You have lost something and you need to recover. You need to get your stuff back. Y'all know we ain't holy as we used to be. We, we don't shut in like we used to shut in. We, we don't pray like we used to pray. We, we don't consecrate like we used to. We're not even as anointed. We're intellectual. We're trying to impress people by what we know. But the kingdom of God is not in words. what you know. I want to see the demonstration of the Holy Ghost. I need God to move. I ain't got time for no philosophy. I ain't got time for nobody to play with me with the Greek and the Hebrew right now. I got a devil on my track. I got my daddy's demon to deal with. My mama's demon. I got religious demon. I got all Why y'all look at me funny when I say I got my daddy demon to deal with? Because I'm not doing what my daddy done. That don't mean that his demon ain't hot on my trail. Y'all, my God, y'all don't hear me because he say it was in his blood. He got to fall in this area because his daddy fell. But that somebody say the devil is a liar. And I'm going higher. I will not fall. I will not make the same mistake. Y'all don't hear me because God is able to keep me from falling. 